Welcome to WCSU Library Tutorials. In this video, we'll be covering how to evaluate information resources that you find on the internet. Google and other search engines are excellent tools to have at your disposal when conducting research. However, information can be posted on the web by anyone, and there is no entity that exists that could possibly verify everything found on the web for accuracy. So it is up to us, as information consumers, to determine whether or not the information presented to us is reliable. It's important to remember that search engines like Google are different than searching an academic database where the information resources available are vetted for accuracy and reliability. To learn more about the difference between Google and academic databases, check out the video linked in the description. One quick method of web evaluation is to look at the URL of the website that you're visiting. If the top-level domain ends in .edu, which stands for education, the information you'll find there is most likely reliable. A domain that ends in .gov, standing for government, are always considered reliable. URLs ending in .com, which are commercial entities, and .org, for organization, will sometimes require a little detective work to determine their reliability. One of our favorite and most thorough methods to determine the reliability of online resources is the CRAAP test. CRAAP is, of course, an acronym and stands for Currency, Relevance, Authority, Accuracy, and Purpose. All important factors to consider when vetting an information resource. To determine currency, check to see when the last time the site was updated. You can usually find this by scrolling all the way down to the bottom of the site. Also, if there are links on the site, are they current and up-to-date, or are they dead links? If it hasn't been updated in a while, there's a good chance that the information there, even if accurate at the time, is out of date. It's also important to note that different fields develop and publish research at different rates. A history site from several years ago might still be accurate, but a science-based site might already be out of date, especially if it wasn't updated within the last five years. To determine relevance, ask yourself, is this a site you'd be comfortable including in your bibliography or list of references? Does the information enhance or enrich your topic in any way? Or is this a primary or secondary source of information? To check for authority and accuracy, read the About section. Determine the qualification of the authors or authors of this information. Ask yourself, where is the information coming from? Who is the intended audience for this site? Is there any publishing or copyright information that you can tell? Are there any other sources that reference this site? Next, think about the purpose of this site. Is there a political, personal, cultural, or religious bias present? If there are links, where are they sending you and why? Are they trying to sell you a product or an ideology? If there are advertisements on the site, what do they tell you about the purpose of it, or how it's funded? As a whole, why does this site exist, and who does it exist for? Remember that some sites will go to a great deal of trouble to hide their intention for existing. So, if it isn't readily apparent what the site is about, it might take you some time to determine whether the information is reliable or relevant to your research. It's a good idea to check several things about a website before determining its reliability. Don't just rely on one piece of the crap test. For instance, relying on when the site was last updated or on its creators alone is no good. Each step of the crap test will give you the necessary clues to determine whether any information resource you come across is reliable. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you're still not sure whether a website or resource is reliable, reach out to a librarian by following the links down in the description. For more videos, check out our channel.